Hello friends, today we will see the difference between union and union by name in PySpark. Okay, so union and union by name transformations are used to match two or more data frames of the same schema or structure. Okay, and uh, union by name have one additional parameter called allow missing columns with the value equal to true. So let's see in practically how that looks and what is the syntax and the definition so topic is union and union by name okay now name transformations are used to match two or more data frames of the same schema or same schema or structure okay so union by name function or transformation takes parameter called allow missing columns with the value true okay now we'll see syntax of union by name so union by name of data frame comma hello missing columns equal to true so this is the syntax this is how it looks union by name okay this is way this is how it works so now let's see uh, union right so as discussed like it will match two or more data frames uh, it should match the number of columns okay number of columns and the position so if it matches though if would second data frame have and the different column also it matches based on the first data frame declaration whatever may be the column name which we specified under that it will match the both values so it won't give any error but it displays of course that is wrong but uh, still it displays union by name it won't allow and when that allow uh, whenever we apply this additional parameter called allow missing columns equal to whenever we set the value is equal to true then it will correctly segregate and it displays the result so now let's see practically how that works so for time being let me comment on this and we'll go to the another cell so let me create a list well let's see value come to id comma name comma department 
comma gender so i am taking employee details so not to convert the data frame so let me take another list of employee details one comma krishna writing so here i will take thousand okay value two call to id name id department comma salary okay so now let's convert these employee details into data frame let me convert df1 equal to spark dot create data frame s1 comma value 1 let's create df2 from the play details spark dot create data frame of s2 comma value 2 okay now let's try to see the display two dot show now we'll see data frame properly created or not see now first employee details created in first data frame gender I, four columns it is displayed correctly good now we'll see the actual scenario now let's create union of these two data frames we have two dot show okay now let's let me run control enter so it executes the cell see it merges but gender and salary it is displayed under the gender column okay this, this should, it should not be actually but still though it matches the number of columns it has taken now let's see the same case with union by name how it display df2 dot show see for the same way if i try to join both cannot resolve color name gender among salary see here we have salary column in the df2 one have salary uh, gender so that is how union by name yielding the error statement so now how to solve this see union it's merges but the data it should split the gender and the salary okay but that case it's failed let's see how to achieve that by using union by name so as discussed hello missing columns equal to true so we need to add this parameter to true see if you look at the syntax right so now let's see how let's run this see now it's clearly dis uh, displayed see gender male and salary 10,000 and uh, unmatched it's displayed the null okay this is, this is the use of union by name now it's good now let's see though its number of columns are matched it's it's mature right now we'll see we'll try to, i will try to add another column let's say 30 comma h okay now let me run and see what this is going to display see this is has given exception because number of columns mismatch 
see we have here four columns here data from two have five columns this is what it is throwing first input column has four columns and second has five columns in this case this is failed okay now because now the number of columns are mismatching hence it is throwing error now let's see let's comment this yeah now let's run this control enter now see though if it is additional if number of columns are also mismatch still it is taken so this is the difference guys uh, this is the beauty of union by name okay so the conclusion is Union by, union by name is used to match or union two data frames with different column names and a different number of columns okay so that's all uh, for today guys so if you really like this tutorial please do subscribe like and share bye